Hi, we're the Snyder family. We're from Kerrville, Texas. We're the builders of Hill Country Tiny Homes, and we're going to give you a tour of our tiny home that we've built, um, that we are living in. He gets to do laundry and dishes. So what do you like about this? It's kind of how close we can be together. Like, I can be up in my loft, and my mom can be in her room doing office work, and I can speak to her and have a conversation with her. Yeah. So what I like about this kitchen, it's actually an 8 by 8 which is not much different than any small house. I've had a lot of people come through who live in apartments and say, this kitchen is bigger than my apartment kitchen. I can see myself cooking dinner for a party of five and not bumping into people. We've got this beautiful cherry wood butcher block that's on wheels and I can roll it wherever I want and do my food prep on that and then just cooking here on this electric glass cooktop what what I can do between the convection oven and this and then I use a, a grill for we live in Texas so a lot of grilling that we can do and we have something called an instapot I can make a whole lot of things I can put a frozen roast in there and with potatoes and onions and carrots and have it done in an hour so I really don't miss the oven part in this space but we can absolutely create one in, in the custom homes that we do and then I love my dishwasher and my large farm, white farm sink. It's pretty large, it's 24 inches, but it's everything I need. I say that my, my tiny house has everything I need and nothing that I don't. All right, so this is a full-size refrigerator, 18 cubic feet, and I don't have to go grocery shopping only once a week. In a lot of tiny house refrigerators, I would have to shop every other day for a family of three living here. This is my pantry. I can fit a whole lot in there. Again, I have these drawers, three sets of drawers that go. It's amazing how much stuff you can fit. And I love my trash pullout. It's a very large, deep trash can. can fit all kinds of stuff in there. Downsizing from a 2,200 square foot home that was our forever home, our dream home, and moving into this full time. I didn't want it to be such a sacrifice. We didn't want to miss the luxuries we are accustomed to. So in designing it, I just made it as big as I could, as long as I could, and as many amenities that would that were necessary to our family. We don't move it real often. So it takes me almost an hour to box everything up in Rubbermaids and protect it. All the glassware in here, some of my knickknacks, but that's just a sacrifice I'm willing to make because I want the aesthetics and the beauty surrounding me and I don't want to sacrifice that. We run off a generator uh, when we do travel. If we can't hook up, we'll use a generator and we have a black tank. So I can be off the grid for a couple days, but it's not my ideal. And we build them for custom off the grid people who want that. We just didn't want that. So behind you is the kitchen. We're going to move forward into the main living space. And as you can see, this is wider than what a normal tiny house is. I have built in two slide outs into this unit. So we have that extra space in the center. So this slide out is 42 inches, which accommodates any size couch. It's nine feet long. So. We wanted to have a place that we could actually come in and relax and sit in this house. It, it allows us to entertain too. We can have multiple people in here uh, at the same time and it doesn't feel like you're really closed in and wishing you could get out. So it really has a good feel. We also built that there so we could have a TV. Uh, It'll hold up to a 49 inch TV up there and it's on a swivel. So if Andrew is up in his bedroom, then we can turn the TV and he can still play games from up there. And we don't have to have multiple units and he can still live like a normal kid and do what he needs to do. Yes. So this table has two leaves and this just folds in like that. And then it goes down and it actually fits right next to the sofa. So when you're not having a meal, you just put it down. And for breakfast, for coffee, we just use these bar stools and sit here. And again, this table can move anywhere because it's on casters. 
So it's very versatile right there. So I fabricated this out of one by two square tubing. So it's all welded together. It's a metal cage. It has bars underneath that support the weight and then it has rollers on top that roll on top of the floor. So when it comes in, it's a, a fixed unit and it bolts to the outside and the inside. So when it's out, it actually bolts underneath the trim. So it provides structure to the unit and it also provides structure when we pull it in. So when you're going down the road, nothing moves. That actually adds strength to that wall versus the slide out usually just slides in and out and it's just a big hole. It's pretty nice to live up there because I can climb up there very nicely, very easily to get up here. I can sit up, I need to, sit on my bed like this and talk to someone down there. I have a bed for my cat right here. Then I have my little reading nook. And then, as they said, I can just turn the TV here and play whatever I need to. One of the things that we wanted to have in this house was storage for books, because we like to read, and just to make it look more homey, more inviting. So we built in uh, a bookshelf here. Uh, it's an emergency ladder if, <laughs> yeah. if, if the slide out is in, that covers up his ladder. So he can still get up, he just goes up the shelves. And then uh, we have this vintage door here, and it has a magnet to close, so you don't have to worry about it opening if you're not level. And I had my must-have list and I had my wish list, and I got everything I wanted. And so being able to have full size, these are Kenmore Elite. They don't really come much bigger, larger than this, but I have a family of three here. We do a lot of laundry, and I did not want to do laundry all the time. So I can fit everything right inside the stack of a washer dryer right here. My little vacuum cleaner, this is all I need to clean all the floors in this house. One of the things that we like best is it took us about three and a half hours, Andrew and I, so he's 11, our son, Andrew and I would clean the whole house top to bottom in about three and a half hours. And in this house, we're done in 30 minutes flat. It's so great. That's one of my favorite things. More time. So, and again, we do not have a compost toilet. We have a full size standard flush toilet. And then my luxury items in here would be my 48 inch vanity. And then my jetted full-size tub shower combo and then here's where you just have our dirty laundry and then you just sun casters so you pull it out put it right there so convenient so again we have a sliding barn door here to separate and so in this room this is the I say the bedroom by night and the office by day a queen size Murphy bed. So when this folds up, in, and this is a slide out that he built as well to give this room. So when this folds up, my desk folds out and it's an office by day and a bedroom by night. And the when it's up, you end up with an eight by nine open floor space. So I can roll out my yoga mat, do exercises, and we give each other massages every week. <laughs> so we have a massage table that when this bed is up, we pull the massage table out, lay it out, everything you need, nothing that you don't. Some, some of the older people come in and say, hey, we could set up card table and play poker in here. <laughs> all, all versatility. Um, we'll have a TV up in the corner. Some people might put a TV here. So, you've got basically the dresser is here. These are all drawers that fold out. Shoes here. Lots of storage. Plenty of storage. And then plenty, again, plenty of storage for, I didn't really have to, I did downsize, but I didn't have to downsize a whole lot. Some of the tiny houses I see, they can only have maybe 10 outfits at the most. And uh, I liked 
having some versatility but now it's like every outfit in there I actually like and I found I really don't even miss everything I need nothing that I don't you can have the doors closed and still control this temperature cool or hot as you can see we have a mini split in the bedroom also we have one in the kitchen and one in here we wanted to be able to control the temperature in this room separately because having the bathroom in the middle we can have both doors closed or this door closed for privacy and still control the temperature in here cool it down to what we want to at night without affecting the rest of the house uh, and these units are very economical so and we also put a sliding glass door on this room and a deck outside so we can open this up the weather is so nice in Texas a lot of the time so we are able to use that as part of our living space also so we put a more of a, a glass structure uh, that allows us to use the outside inside Absolutely. so that's really what we're after is the freedom to be a family that's together and doing things together in the tiny house space helps us accomplish that almost as a byproduct of the space um, you can't have a kid that's you know in the bedroom and you never see them again and as you can see underneath the closet I have built in outside storage for what I need and because uh, I have stuff I need <laughs> tools and things just to move and maintain so far in, in it, it's pretty new the maintenance has been almost nil uh, but there are moving parts so you're gonna have to look at it, it you gotta maintain any house this one's no different uh, it does have a couple moving parts that we'll have to keep track of um, but like I said we don't move it we'll probably move it once every six months uh, maybe more than that but gives us the freedom to do that but we're not looking at this as a travel trailer this is a house um, that we can move to whatever location we feel is best for us the number one benefit is having no mortgage and being able to take your equity every time you move with you instead of giving your equity away because you didn't think you were going to move for 20 years but you move every five years or less that's just typical these days um, secondly I would say freedom to um, ex we're entrepreneurs and so being able to just work from your own home but reduce your expenses so that you can invest more in your business made a lot of sense for us and we also homeschool our son so when we do want to take a trip and travel with our house and with him to explore different things we have that freedom I don't like staying in hotels or even renting the Airbnb setups I want to be in my house in my bed sleep with my pillows and so the freedom to travel the freedom financially to not have a mortgage hanging over your head but also to have that freedom to invest in something that will grow and grow of your business and then the last thing I would say is touching on what he said building stronger families so having time freedom to experience life together having a 20 year old and almost 19 year old daughter who have moved away off to college out of state we recognize that with our 11 year old the next seven years are going to go like that and so who cares about the big fancy house we had a in-ground pool in the backyard big yard to mow 2200 square feet to maintain clean all of that we now are free from that so we have more time to invest in our son and in each other and it will create a stronger family we're really excited about that I guess that would actually be number one the other two fall into line with that with this situation our even if we're in an RV park which is the most expensive place to be our total output for utilities and everything is less than our taxes were on the big house. 
it, it has cut our our monthly need down to yep. very minimal. Yeah. So that's point. really <laughs> it, it allows us to have more money. So as we said, we wanted to bring the outside in. So we built decks on the outside of this. Uh, and the neat thing about these is when we go to move the house, I pull the, the rails off, put them in the back of the truck, and the deck part folds up against the doors. So not only does it protect the doors, but it also allows me to pull those around without having to take the whole thing off. So it takes me 15 minutes to take the rails off and fold it up and away we go. Also another feature or another benefit to us is if we choose to go away from our house for a little while, we can fold these up against the doors and lock them. And it adds a little more protection for the theft. It makes it a lot more of a deterrent for people to get in. It's a big deterrent. This unit is 40 feet long. So finding a level space that's 40 feet long sometimes can be a, a trial. So we use a, a level and we'll put blocks under the wheels to help mitigate that. But we've got six heavy duty jacks underneath the frame and we crank those up and it, it actually does not take very long for us to level it out and it's really stable on the inside. Um, we went with six, uh, you can do as many as you want, but that seems to work really well for us. So on the outside here you can see we have the two condenser units for the mini splits, one's in the kitchen and one's in the back bedroom. Uh, I, I mounted them, ran steel from the inside structure. It's actually bolted on the inside and then I put brackets underneath them and hold the weight and keep them in place. Another thing I wanted was to have storage from outside because I've got blocks, I've got ladders. So I took up this whole section, it's kind of a mess right now, but I can hold everything that I need to maintain this whole unit under here and it's completely watertight and you wouldn't even know it's there most of the time if you didn't see it. So that really helps me. And it, as far as maintenance to this, you know, there, there is some maintenance when you have moving parts, but I find it far less maintenance than maintaining a regular house. There's so much less that's going on that, you know, with a house, most people have lived in one, you've got stuff to fix all the time. Whether you do it or not is on you, but you always have stuff. you either got to hire it or have somebody else come out and do it, or do it yourself. With this, you know, it's, it's pretty much a third or a quarter of what I normally would have with our house. Yeah, if you want to know more about uh, these units or us building you a unit, uh, go to hillcountrytinyhouses.com. Uh, also, that's also the Facebook page. Uh, we do updates on our life living in this. Uh, so as we're going along, we'll do Facebook Live quite often. Um, just to give you a feel, because if you're moving into this, you want to know that you want to. And we fully embrace that. Because we don't want you to get into a house that you don't want to be in. That doesn't help anybody. But if we can help you move toward that, or just give you tips on what works and what doesn't, that's why we're doing this. And uh, we'll keep you updated.